everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke clear out of my face and my picture perfect. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke Are you ready to be entertained? Let's get into another reaction of Lucifer, y'all. This is season six, episode one. We are on the final season of Lucifer, expecting to try my hardest to push out as many of these reactions. There's only 10 episodes, so nine more episodes to go of this show, and then we're wrapping this show up. I'm here for it, y'all. I'm here for it. Let's jump right into this. I'm excited, I'm sad, but listen, all good things always come. To an end. If you want to see this info reaction, the links are down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the like button, share, and comment. Now, without further ado, let's jump into Lucifer and find out exactly what the show has got to get. Oh, I pulled you over? Yes, I wasn't paying enough attention to the road, and I apologize. I've got a lot on my mind. I know you. Probably. I used to work for the LAPD. I'm solving devil. It was great fun, but that's over now. Since the war. Did you win? Well, I won, but not without having to fly to the Silver City to save my girlfriend. Yeah, anyway, long story short, now I'm the big man. I just pulled over God? Well, not quite. I still have to ascend to the Silver City. I do know you. You're the... You're the officer who likes to drive fast with this siren on. I hope you bought yourself something pretty with that money I gave you. Oh, I sure did. Changed my life. Marvelous. Well, that's the kind of personal touch I hope to be scaling up as ruler of the universe. Well, it wasn't all good. You know, I, uh, I got into trouble at work a lot. And my wife left me. She took the house. I am so glad that I got to thank you. Well, you are more than welcome. You got any more of that money like last time? Wow. Hi, Chloe. Hello, Chloe. Still not used to you calling me that. But don't you like it? No, I love it. Genius of the Only private club for magicians. <laughs> yeah, apart from the one that I started with Rasputin. I, Vernon, challenged a young David Copperfield to a drinking contest at that bar right there. 1971, I refereed. Really? John Armstrong, one of the greatest card magicians in the world. <laughs> you know, magic for our last night? Well, what could be more magical than magic? <laughs> so, like, everywhere ah. you look, there's a puzzle to solve. You lost weight. <laughs> Shall we? Really expect me to hang out here all night surrounded by mysteries and not try to figure out how everything works? Do you see wonder? Well, also drugs, debauchery, and now certain extinct whiskeys, but yes. You'll become God, and then you'll know how everything works, right? I was thinking on the drive over, do we really need to start tomorrow? Why don't we just extend our vacation a little longer? Well, I mean, yes, we're having fun. We have to get up there. Thank you. It's not like the sky's going to fall out of itself. This is why we are here tonight. The final show of Magna the Magnificent, most flawless ex in all of magic. Then he handed the mantle down to his protege and it's been handed down ever since. Being it's... handed down again. Oh. You just can't help yourself, can you? My final act it will literally conquer death and emerge resurrected gonna die die she's locked it mm. you say there must be some mechanism in the box for the chloe please resurrection Stay calm and try not to touch anything. This is an active crime scene now. She died knowing his illusion was never revealed. <laughs> Did you hear that? You said not to touch anything. What? No, open it. How can you miss your cue? But if he's alive there, then who's that? My protege. So this is how the trick is performed? He, he's hidden in there the entire time. When we show the audience that it's empty, you're all right, my boy. He just does not like to hear how the tricks are performed. No, I most certainly do not. I'm a lawyer. My father doesn't have to answer any of these questions. Alan, you're an entertainment lawyer? I'm now, Dad. Well, no worries there, because we're not actually the police. Right, Chloe? Well, then, I'd appreciate my dad not being harassed with questions until the cops 
do arrive. I'm dragging my bag to Lucifer and Chloe list crime scenes and now boom! Horrible for the dead guy, but not horrible for me. It must be so weird being on the other side of things for once, huh? Mm. So, how are things going with um, Carol? Good. I mean, he's no you guys. Any friend of Dan's is, you know. Big shoes to fill, Dan's and yours, but thank you so much for securing the crime scene. Means Chloe doesn't have to be a detective anymore. I don't have to have magic ruined for the rest of my life. Probably have to hang here because we were witnesses to the murder, right, Carol? I'm gonna have to get your statement before you can be released. Who wants to be tickled by Satan's whiskers? Ooh. I've been tickled by those whiskers before. Oh. Me too. My best friend and her girlfriend depart this mortal plane to rule hell. Heaven to hell. And everywhere in between. Are you ladies ready to leave tomorrow? I mean, I'll be free to fly you down. My magic queen's gonna rule that throne. <laughs> I'm gonna make you proud, grinding my siblings under my boot. <laughs> you given any thought as to uh, what you'll be doing while Maze is ruling? She's gonna be the greatest queen ever. You also be <laughs> subjugating scum? Figure it out when we get there. Yeah. Time for appetizers. I made deviled eggs. Ooh. For this particular illusion, only one of the dueling sabers is actually sharp, which means the killer prepared it. Oh, totally just, premeditated. Mm. Oh. I just this over and done with quickly as possible so Chloe and I can continue our wonder-seeking date. Family business. I get it. You're in my prayers. What do you mean for what that's worth? I thought that was worth a lot to you, Miss Lopez. I've been praying a lot. It feels like nobody's listening. It's so dodo-headed. I mean, like, as if that could really happen, right? No way. So the act has a live chicken and a live butterfly. You probably know me from my Instagram account, bromagic69. Oh. I don't. <laughs> Not saying that my work saves lives, but... So you know Magna? I was his apprentice before Jared. That could have been me getting stabbed if I hadn't discovered social media. Magnar's climbing in the coffins? I'm on a rocket. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Magnar must be really jealous. Look, a lot of people are jealous of me. Oh, of course. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I had his pre-show ritual with him tonight. We had a Magnar Mai Tai, the usual. From the car to the bar stool. Kinda feels like we're already dating. I mean, we're already accessorizing a light. Another magician was with him from the time he got here until the start of the show, so you really need to talk to him and see if it... I'm so sorry. You're a good detective. Just ignore me. Pretty okay. Mm. Don't let this ruin your night. Everything is under control. That is good news. I'm sure it's in very capable hands. I just confirmed. Jared was killed sometime in the last two hours. And no one's left since then, so you should keep holding everybody. And that door's the only way out. Killer is still in the building. Locked room mystery, you guys. Who's up for an all-nighter? was about to inherit, from what I understand, is a pretty legendary role in magic. And your relationship son. with him, would you say it was free of conflict? Mm -hmm. Jared wasn't just well-liked, he was respected. Hell, even I can't deny the guy had chopped. Big Netflix series about Magnar. And this is your first time here? First time. Wait, is there anyone else new here? Is that a clue? Before the event this evening. Oh, that's easy. I was bribing a motorcycle cop for the first time. If you ask him, I'm sure he'll corroborate. He's a bit of an overshare. Claim that you're the devil? Was the devil. God now. Well, nearly. The member here since it first opened. In 1963. Sounds about right. How are you with swords? Oh, a bit rusty. Although I did recently defeat a Yakuza ball. Because that is exactly how Jared was killed. Fascinating. Because of what you said to Carol, that you're his number one suspect now. What? He's not going to let you off just on my word alone, so <sighs> I really think there's only one thing we can do. Solve this case on our own. What? Motorcycle cop called and confirmed your story. Uh. Isn't it just so interesting how there's always so much insidery drama no matter what the industry club books rooms in their hotel for its acts when they come to perform. Some Jared ordered room service. It was charged on Erica's Her credit card. This is just fantastic. And look at this. Everything is so elaborate. This is what I'm going to do. Dinner parties. Just parties of all kinds. Bring in all the happiness and, and fun and good times. Who are you going to bring fun to? The tortured, damned souls? It's your siblings, too, Maze. That's right. Hang out with your family. Amazing. Yeah, no. They're walking, talking garbage. I'm keeping you far away from Just them. so I'm clear, what is it that you picture me doing? That sounds incredibly lonely. 
Maze. Are you saying that I'm not enough for you? You're telling me I make you feel lonely. I mean, how twisted is that? I'm joining the police force. I've been in, in the police academy for a while now, and it's it's uh, it's going well. But we should get back to Maze. Why the hell didn't you tell me? And honestly, I thought that you would do nothing but make fun of me. This is the greatest gift you have ever given me. <laughs> tell us all about the academy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, you neglected to tell me that you were in a relationship with the victim. I didn't tell you because it makes me look bad. I want to make you look bad. Magic is a huge boys club. I really thought Jared was different. He told me that he would produce my solo act, but once Magnar made the decision to retire, suddenly Jared wasn't talking about my career anymore. Angry side piece tossed away as soon as the dead guy hits it big. What are you doing? <laughs> he thinks it's her. Something is snatting up. I can feel it in my gut. This Carl's job now. What? Carol. Uh, really? uh, did we get any physical evidence off the body? Can't really get into that right now. Oh, Decker, this is killing me, but you're not on the team anymore. Did you check the victim's clothing? For any secret compartments, pockets, anything? Dead guy stuff. Oh, man, I could totally do a panel on this at the next Forensic Con. Brilliant. Different stage of our lives now. Well, are we? I mean, you just told me that you've delayed the next stage again. Starting a new day job in heaven and the commute <laughs> daily alone. I found a bead tucked up in a secret pocket, like you said, up in his sleeve. Maybe this is just part of a trick? No, it's not magic. It's good police work. Who in the actual police person on what that means? Miss <laughs> no. Lopez, a question? I don't have a thing for Carol at all. That wasn't the question. Oh. Uh, when you said you didn't feel God's presence anymore. Big guy, the big guy. He's always there. Right, but surely he can't be always there. He's not like you and me. We are all God's loved ones. Only thing that God cares about is caring about us. Mr. Rogers or some sleazeball internet troll, he is there for everyone. Well, we're already accessorizing alike. What's that on your wrist? Yeah, what is that on her wrist? We found a bead from one of your bracelets on Jared's body, your actual bracelet. Well, chill out, Nancy. Drew, well, why would I want to hurt Jared? I already told you I didn't want to be Magnar. What is it you truly desire? I want to be Magnar. I'm not cut out for the stage. Do you know how many viewing angles you have to cover? I see you weren't a good enough magician to be like Magnar. Well, hey, hey, I'm a great magician. You know what? You should have thought of that before you killed Jared. Turn around, you're under arrest. Can I talk to you for a second? Well, that's just the kind of thing that happens when you have hundreds of celestial family members. I know how complicated it is between you and your family, Mace. It really bothers me that you don't want me spending time with your family. Want to talk about how? I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to go. I know how excited you are for me to be queen, but I like it here. I don't want to go to hell either. I just thought going home would make you happy when they're still alive. You know, you can feel it the air. I know. That's I love that part too. With our life, I, I could do this forever. Forever? Yeah, I could marry you tomorrow. Okay. Did we just get engaged? <laughs> oh my with all due respect, I cannot have you tampering with this investigation. It's performing magic for several women during the window of time of the murder. I saw her body language when you interrogated her. She was sad, resigned, but she wasn't angry. The killer is still in this room, but I have no clues and I have no leads. While I do not appreciate you running a parallel investigation for the entire evening, I appreciate your thoughts now. Oh. The killer had to know to get the right kind of bead, not one of the cheap plastic handouts. So it's premeditated. The killer wanted to remove Magnar's current and former apprentice too, but the question is why? If Magnar won't sell, and neither would Jared, right. how did this deal get done? What kind of law did you say the Sun practices? Uh, no, back up, buddy. I know what's in right away. Okay, everybody. Magic's not cool, it's art, right, Dad? Is that what this is about? Money? Yeah, it's about your legacy! All Jared had to do was sign and cash checks, but not Jared. He's just as stubborn as the last Magnar. This is all your fault. <laughs> Every bit of this is your fault. All you ever cared about was your own greed and desire. You are the one who's selfish. You are not worthy of your father's legacy. I may not be a magician, but I grew up here. No! No! Now, hurry! Chloe! I'm one hair on her head, I swear I will break him! Help me survive an angel demon war. So I thought it might come in handy again. Never actually in any danger and you could have gotten away at any moment. 
Once the detective, always the detective. Being right. Because I solved the case? No, because I was right about the secret passage. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought I put that in my safe. King around, every day armed. I just felt weirdly naked. You should keep it. Especially since we'll be here on Earth a little longer. And you have to understand, you are not the same as him. You are worthy. It's more an issue of job description. She, you died for me. I mean, what could be more selfless than that? I'd do anything for you. Except give you up. Much as I claim to know what will happen to me when I become God, I don't. Well, I'm not scared. I love you too, Mr. From Morningstar. I have faith in you, Mr. Morningstar. Everyone was trying to be so polite about it, but I saw a maze dump hers in the spider plant. Who spent the entire night probing and prodding at Mays and E's relationship. What you saw from almost broken up to engaged over a single dinner. I wonder if some of that was maybe for your own benefit as well. You're not so bad a therapist yourself. Uh, so you thought you would get a rush from some celestial therapy one last time before they head south? Nobody understands better than me how earthly things can feel small. I'm in training to be a beat cop, okay? <laughs> no problem is too small. Whatever good deed you do in the world, I don't know, throwing some elaborate dinner party for your friend, fighting a war for the throne of heaven. Every act matters. That's very insightful, but I don't know if I'm there yet. For the head right here. Damn. You don't have What's the score? Hey, there you are, buddy. What's up? I can't think of anything new. I've just come to check in. I'm still in hell. It still sucks. Balio still sucks. Ping pong is not his game. I'm <laughs> doing this to not torture you. You are the first soul ever in this purgatory. I know you're the one stuck here. You know, I've tried every door. Well, Lee's door was a metaphor for his own. I know it was a metaphor, Lucifer. But you know as well as I do that I've dealt with all my guilt. Stop screwing around and go be God. Then you can just like, beam me up. How unconscious those are, then that is the end of free will, which I cannot do. Every time you disappoint me, you let me down. Don't come back here unless you actually have the answer. That's never happened before. You think it means something? I doubt it. Don't you Who's that? Well, well, I'm the Joker, I'm the devil. I like the ending song. I wanted to be there more. Um, I really like this episode. This episode was everything. I'm so, as the vast majority of people, and plus me, I did like it as well. How they did the little, they did the crimes, they did this, and Chloe was the detective, etc., etc., etc. This episode, although Chloe is no longer a detective and we still had a crime, it felt different and it felt amazing. Amazing, amazing. I preferred this, like, type of feel on Lucifer compared to all the other seasons. And I'm not saying that the other, I just want to be very clear. I'm not saying any of the other seasons were bad, because they weren't, minus season two, I believe it was, the one that was super long. That that season was like, or it was either season two or season three. The one that had 18 million episodes. Um, and that season wasn't that bad, it was just so long for no reason. Um, I just like, I liked everything about this episode. This episode for the beginning of the season to start off the final se season of the show, it felt fresh, new. I felt like there was a lot of money towards the budget. The acting was good. It gave me a lot of laughter. Um, I liked how Carol, the detective, reminded me of Dan anyways. He kind of looks just like him. Um, and then we also had like these other like hints like about how there is no God currently. And when, um, I forgot her name, 
mentioned that she prayed and she did she felt like nobody was there is because literally at this moment there's nobody there there's all these different elements going on and then chloe being like a mighty morphin power ranger and like like kicking that guy's ass because she had that necklace uh or piece of the necklace i think it was um i really enjoyed it and the beginning of this episode felt like the first episode of the first season because i feel that's how we were introduced to lucifer of him driving down uh, Las Vegas Boulevard or wherever the holy hell he is um, and got pulled over by a cop. I think that was the first episode. At, at least that reminded me of whatever episode that was. And then as he went on, the magic show stuff was amazing. I loved it. I'm trying to find... Oh, I, let me see if I... There was no bad elements either. And I'm not a fan of Eve. Like, I just never really got that deep into her character. I was never really like, ooh, she's here. Um... And I'm not really sure if it's the actress or just the character itself. Um, but in this episode, I really liked it. I really liked Eve and Maze going back and forth. I liked how the therapist, you know, sensed that neither one of them really wanted to go there. Or whatever she sensed. Or maybe she didn't sense nothing at all. But regardless, because she just wanted to, like she said, she's bored with human like therapy she's like i don't want to do this no more i don't care who you're sleeping with she wants to deal with you know higher beings or celestials that's what she wants to deal with um and her doing what she did and then at the end of it and then they got engaged it was funny it's just really funny this this episode flowed and then by the ending of it we see dan finally i had a feeling that we we're going to see Dan in this season. So when I saw Dan, I wasn't like shocked uh, because I felt like his character was his, as a main character throughout all the seasons. And for him just to die and then us to just move on to the final season of the show and us not get Dan, it just didn't seem like, like that was a thing. And clearly, that isn't a thing. So I'm happy to see Dan as well. And as you see, Dan is frustrated. He's spending a thousand years in hell wise. Um, and he's ready to get out. He's like, the hell, get me out of here, Luce. But there's a lot of things that Lucifer just can't do. He can't just boop and send him somewhere else. Um, and then by the ending of it, I loved how he zoomed in on whoever is watching over hell. And then they slowed down. And we just know it's a female wearing whatever those boots were. Um, so I'm excited to find out more. I'm curious to know who it is. I don't know, I have a couple of theories. One theory is wrong. Um, one theory was it's Eve or Maze, and it's neither one because I think the person is white, so I would take Maze out. Um, and then Eve, there would be no way for her to get there. Um, and then I was like, is it the God's wife? Is she down there? But why would she be there? Like her and God, who I feel like would make an, uh, a presence known in this season as well, they're off somewhere else. So unless it's another character, I don't know. Is it one of Maze's siblings? Because we did touch on that a lot and I didn't even know Maze, Maze's siblings was in hell. So maybe it's one of Maze's siblings that's overseeing hell. And then when Lucifer flew away and the lightning started and then Dan was like, you saw that? We never, we never experienced that before. What's going on? What's happening, Doc? Was that because of the lady who's now sitting on Hell's throne? Was Lucifer, when he left, she came back down or she came and sat on the throne once Lucy left? Is that why the lightning was there? Regardless, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. Definitely look out for this. If I could put two episodes out uh, in a week, I will. I don't really want to drag it out nine uh, weeks but look for Lucifer to drop at least once a week, y'all. I'm going to make sure I put Lucifer once a week. Quote me on it, um, regardless. And, and a week to me is um, Saturday through um, Saturday. So that whole week, it could happen anytime. Um, but definitely look, it will drop because I want to wrap up the season and I want to it continuously uh, drop and we'll be done with Lucifer. And then I can check off another uh, show off my list. My list. You guys know that I, you know, I go dip, dab, dip, dab with all these shows. Um, but I'm very happy that we we went through six seasons of Lucifer and you guys have been here. Being here with me has been glorious. Absolutely. Absolutely. So thank you guys so much. Check out all my other reactions. And until next time, I'm off this.
of the good or evil. I'm fighting the crime, steady your lives. One at a time, I'm killing the rhymes. I do it for the people. I'm Peter Parker running through the six for the bag for the trip.